Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Arena Survival Action Roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the Brotato Flotato mod once again, add some new characters and weapons to the game. Today, we're checking out Crazy Worker. 20 harvesting, 1 melee damage for every 10 harvesting you have. Minus max HP for every 20 harvesting you have. Materials dropped down. 25% of materials are converted into harvesting at the end of the wave. So... <laughs> So, this is interesting. So, harvesting is going to go up, and it's going to start to go up exponentially. So, there's a chance that we lose a lot of health if we get a lot of melee damage from this. But, I don't know if there's any of the new weapons that are actually fitting, aside from maybe Ghost Pruner. But we already played with that. So, I think I'm going to go for the Fist, because it scales really, really well with flat melee damage. In addition, I guess it does provide us with the unarmed bonus as well to give us some dodge. The thing it does lack is, I guess, sort of like the harvesting angle. But the weird thing about this is the more benefit we get in that realm, the weaker we are for health. So generally, it's going to be kind of confusing anyways. Like, I'll take harvesting probably if I see it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, okay. I'll get some attack speed. But Fist is a really nice weapon to kind of grab here because it's a very, very cheap one. You can get a lot of Fists very quickly. I feel like Lifesteal could be okay. I think I'm going to pass on it, though. Want to leave ourselves open for some other good stuff. But yeah, we could play this like a... I guess like a boring saver, but I don't know if that's how we should do it. Like, we could just sit on our money, it turns into harvesting, that harvesting, you know, turns into more harvesting, that harvesting turns into melee damage. I, don't, I just don't think that that's necessarily the play, though. We'll have to see. I'll grab a little bit more melee, I suppose. I guess I'll grab some luck. Sure. Fist. No matter what I say, we... Um, ooh. We grab all of these, all of the fists that we can out of the one, two, three waves. Just feels like a pretty logical way of doing it for the most part. And it's the materials converted into harvesting at the end of the wave. So it's not, we don't necessarily need to do saber stuff because it's not at the beginning of the wave. It is at the end of the wave we get value. So yeah, I feel like this, it's not too bad. I think we just say hey thank you for the free passive benefit to our harvesting we're going to be getting i'll try and squeak out a little bit more so we can farm a lot of melee damage but we do have to be a bit careful with it like here i don't think i want to roll i'll i'll keep and i will oops get a little bit of value from the passive a little bit more value from the passive after this at least the ratio is three materials to one harvest thing, though. Is that good? Yes, it is very good from a pure money standpoint. The downside of this character is exclusively going to be that health angle. So we're going to want dodge. We're going to want armor. We're going to probably want health, like just literally buy more health. Okay. Ah, we don't need it. We get some max HP bait, I suppose. Goat Skull is, it's kind of like a, I will take it on a fist run because the crits don't matter as much. But even now, like, Goat Skull is just worse than it's ever been. And it's never really been something I wanted to take. But if there's a weapon that exists for Goat Skull, it is fist. It has a 1.5 times crit damage multiplier. And, uh, it scales really well with flat melee. So, it's not bad. But the thing is, I kind of still want crit. Because 1.5 is still something. But more importantly, uh, Tentacle is busted. The option of getting a hunting trophy on this run would be really good. We'll grab some more max health, I suppose. Repost. Okay. All right. Melee dodge angle. Melee dodge angle. We don't have a whole lot of survivability via health, etc. anyways. And we have a free 15 dodge from just having unarmed weapons. 
It's a start. It's not a lot. It's something. 56 harvesting? That's pretty good. Does it counteract all the money that we're not getting? No. I don't think so. I, I sure as hell think not. But it is nice to just do a good old-fashioned punch run. Like, when's the last time I've just used fists and got lots of melee damage? Ow. Ow, ow, ow. 16 melee. 10 luck I will gladly take. 4 HP regen, sure. 8% damage. I'll take another bait. Discount sounds nice. Yep. Since we don't... Like, we gotta be careful. I'm not gonna play, like, full-on boring saver style. I'm gonna buy items. Ow. Please, 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 please. Oh, that's not good. We actually do kind of bonkers damage. Kind of doing sort of bonkers damage. Alright, get in there, get in there. Twenty nines, thirty nines. Oh, you dirty devil. I mean, lifesteal is obviously a play you can always make with a fast firing melee weapon like this. It could be not bad, but it's also like I don't know. I don't rate fist with lifesteal just from the fact that it's got a very short range. Explosion radius or damage. You know what? For nine bucks, I'm gonna take it on prospect for rip and tear. Three armor's great. Another bait. That's weird. All right, saving a little bit more. We're at 90 harvesting there. What's our health at? 27. Yeah, the later in the run this gets, the more our health is going to kind of be going down as time goes on. Um, what would we be looking for? Tardigrade. Tardigrade is probably like a best in slot item for this run. Well, maybe not quite as much as like adrenaline or just lots of repost. But repost is not, as much as I wish it was, repost is not a build around item. Repost is a, hey, that was kind of nice that we had that item. I enjoy that we had repost. Like that, it did more than I, you know, uh, no, I was going to say, it did more than I thought. Said no one ever, actually. I don't think that, yeah, I think I've had one run where I've been impressed with my repost damage. Grab a lumberjack shirt. I can certainly grab a missile. A little bit of lifesteal could be fine. I think 12% damage is going to be a little bit better for us. Bean teacher, bring it. Yeah, I like this. Buying out kind of the sort of first shop. I think that that's a good angle. 20 melee damage and 52% damage. We're doing crazy damage. For wave 9? For wave 9, this is bizarre damage. We're lacking some survivability again. We're going to probably need to grab a couple HP upgrades here and there in a way that I normally don't like to do just to sort of counteract the uh, the fall of our health. Because the weird thing about this run is as much as we're going to have health issues later, it's not... They're not penalized. My purchases aren't penalized. I don't have a 30% reduction on my health. I just lose some, and I need to... I can, like, buy a big old chunk at a time, just like normal. So, yeah, we could grab more harvesting, yada, yada, yada. Could be good, could be bad. Um, you know, yeah, I literally just said so. More health, I could. A little more harvesting, let's be a little crazy with it. Fine, I'll grab some lifesteal. Fist, roll once here, maybe. Flaming Brass Knuckle is... It's not bad. It's literally just fist but better. But it's also fist but more expensive. And it provides me a burn that I probably don't care about. But it is also just a straight up epic fist. I think that's the reason to go for it. The, the fire rate's the same, right? Yeah. Exact same item but with burning. 
and the elemental tag. The downside is, yeah, it, it's more expensive. It's going to influence my shop to maybe give me some flaming brass knuckles instead of just a normal fist, which I would consider to be a downside from the fact that it's pretty close, but slightly better, but just more expensive. I'm basically just saying yes to it to get another fist at a slightly expensive price. I do not care about the fire element of it. I don't think it's going to really change anything in my run. I don't think anybody's going to really be dying of burn. Could be, but who knows. If I could get my hoodie today, that'd be a dream. Not that we even have that much dodge yet, but I would like to. 5% speed for 20 bucks. Considering I don't care about crit chance, sure. Get some more attack speed. Oh, oh, there we go. Get some more attack speed. Crit chance dodge. I don't want minus range is the problem. Another bait. You are crazy, game. Fine. Getting kind of expensive. 175 on the harvesting. Which means we are getting how much? 17 melee damage. Which means we're getting half of that as a reduction to our health. So, 9-ish. Right? Or wait, am I wrong about the ratio? No, yeah, 9-ish. But we're doing 92 damage. The downside being, I guess, like of this run, our, our max cap, like our level 20 potential, is a little bit lower from the uh, lack of a crit angle, but why crit when you just do a really big hit in the first place? Just anyways, I started blasting. Okay. It is a bit sketchy, though. We're going to need to grab some health. We're 37. I don't think I can get him in time. I can't get him in time. Find more attack speed. I'm going to get an alien magic mastery for sure. Lifesteal minus harvesting. I can actually take that. Let's roll once just because where we're at here. Plant for sure. Triple elites is kind of great for us in a way. Get the eggs. Because... This build is a boss shredder. It's a risky kind of a build because, again, our survivability kind of comes from, uh, you know, not from lifesteal fully, but yeah, we've got 13 HP regen. Never mind. I wouldn't mind an extra source of healing, which as of right now, I'm kind of leaning towards. It would be a uh, monkey. We'd want monkey. That'd be great today. Well, actually, no, it wouldn't. This is just a weird day for regen because monkey would be fine. I'd be happy for like for us to see it and take it, but we have 50% less materials on the ground, which actually means it's half as good. So medical turret? Is that what we're relegated to as far as like additional sources of healing? You, you love to see it. You love to see it. Absolutely cracked. I'm going to grab the dodge there. You know what? Give me glass cannon. Okay. 192 damage on that fist. Holy. Cannoli. And again, how much is from you? 24. Yeah. A little bit more than half of my melee damage is from the character's passive. But again, we are just like... We're down a lot of health. So I'm like comparing it to... What's his name? The Brawler? God, what's his name? I, it's a character I've only played like a couple times in the past year. Um, You know. The one who is a fist main... 
I think it's Brawler. They are obviously, like, they would be getting more benefit by now. Probably, right? From the attack speed and the, the flat, unarmed upgrade. I suppose so. Three armor, I guess so. Grab it, grab it. This is bizarre. Let's see, what did I say? It's a little weird, but I'm going to do it. There's nothing wrong with it, like... And as I get more of them, if I get more of them, it kind of helps. Well, it's probably more beneficial for us to just combine them and get the higher value burn proc. Because the burn can't stack, so having one legendary Flaming Brass Knuckle would be a lot more valuable, for sure. Okay. We hate hosts and babies. Hate the babies. Okay. Uh oh. Not good for us. Not good for us. We don't really like the uh, long range bullet spam with a, such a short range melee weapon. The last 10 seconds are going to get kind of gross, maybe. As I specially killed the bebe. Alright, go for it. Fine. Four speed, minus six luck. I think I'm fine on speed. I'll get some more HP regen. That sounds great. Guess I'll grab some more dodge. Dude, I... Fine. Fine. Nuke launcher. Recycling machine, because we are going into there. I'll grab a little bit of an extra dodge. We're going into uh, an elite wave. Oh, God. Okay. At least we shrek them. Ooh, wait, he just dashed in place. That cheater. But yeah, Magical Leaf on wave 12. It's kind of the dream. It's kind of the dream. It's only I think I've only ever gotten it from the 12 Elite one other time. Technically, the dream is to get it from the shop before 12, but 12 is the most realistic lucky find for it. Uh-oh. We are in danger. Okay, 15 seconds left is no joke. Wanted to kill those babies, oh well. Yeah. Alright, fine. We're fine. And that's why. That's why I wanted it. Hand handcuffs. Don't want handcuffs yet. Acid could be fine. I guess I'll get ritual. It's kind of expensive, but A. We don't really need to pivot too much more. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Like I said, so now it does 31 times 7. We lose the one elemental bonus, but I think that the benefit we get from combining is just better. Scar's good, but it's it's too late. Who cares? And honestly, I need range. It's honestly a miracle that my range is at zero. I would have thought I'd uh, trash up some by now. Doing 258. That's the thing. We're we can compare it to the kind of crits we would normally be doing. The 258 punch, standard non-crit, is higher than the average crit on a wave 16. So, I cannot be mad at this angle. I think it was the right one to take. Yes, doing 1.5x would be cool. Doing like 400-ish would be cool. But we wouldn't be doing 400-ish. You can't think of it like that way because we would have had to spend money we used to get to 250 to get the crit anywhere meaningful. It is sad to abandon crit and then see two tentacles, but we are doing just fine. Okay. All right, we'll do that, but we're going to get some range. Fine, I'll get sad tomato for kicks and wiggles. This is not a guaranteed... Um, those are not guaranteed, so... Free roll. 
Mastery for sure. Free roll. Eh. I mean, do I think Sad Tomato is a good choice for us? Nah. Nah. It's a fine choice. Gives us a lot of HP regen, though. If we can get one Tardigrade, I'm happy with the, the purchase. If I can't get a Tardigrade, it could kill us. It could kill us. There's a real chance. Kill the baby. Kill the babies. Kill the baby. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, I think the Grind's Magical Leaf, it's... Was it necessary for this run to be a win? I don't think so. But good god. What a nice get. I think this run was going to be fine regardless. I... I guess I'll take it. Hoodie? Boy, I need range so bad now. Octopus is good today. All right. All right. Well, we'll just get really up in your face. Okay, this is a good boss for this, at the very least. Bye. I mean, our attack speed is bonkers now. A legendary range upgrade would be cool. What's the range? What's the range on this? A hundred. Ooh, that's so bad. If they are in my anywhere near my little punch of vicinity, boy howdy, they are out of here though. Final boss is gonna be weird. It's gonna be like a big dumb 1v1. Repose does 500 damage on dodge half the time. More dodge would be good. Range being chief among the things I care about. All right. <laughs> um. Oh God, it is. It's good and all. I I have enough attack speed actually, so I'm gonna say no. I want that for the range. It's wave 19, we don't need that. Uh, Black Belt, it's wave 19, it's not as good. Again, kind of just looking for range up. There's a rip and tear that we were looking for. One more. All right. A little weird. But now that we got the Rip and Tear as well, quite nice. Happy to be not going for a critical angle with a Rip and Tear focus here. That is beneficial. Because then we don't have to care about Rip and Tear stealing kills for whatever, like, I don't know, hunting trophy or tentacle or what have you. So this, this run worked out really nice. I think we, we came up with a plan. We executed it quite well here. And we also got lucky. It's just kind of the stars aligned. And we have nearly 500 harvesting. Not too bad. Especially considering we still are somehow at the 92 health. We have a 20, 23 health downgrade. Come on, come on, come on, get him. Ah, my range. I'm upset. HP region, good. Knockback, bad. Adrenaline, great. There's hunting trophy. Cape would have been lovely. I'm one shy? You dirty, dirty dog.
Floria blows. Bye bye. Floria blows. Where do you think you're going? I loved it. Good run, fun run. Love the run. Really, really enjoyed. Uh, wild character. I don't know. It, it. I think that Fist is such a beautiful choice for it. I think that it would be easy to get baited into playing it like Saver. But the thing is, if you play it like Saver, you're going to have one health. Right? If you play it just like Saver, you're going to have one health. And you're not going to have any strength from it. I mean, well, I guess you'll have the uh, some melee from it. I don't know. I don't know. It, it was a fun run. I really liked it exactly how we did it. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Link for the mod at the top of the description here. Check the channel for roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.